I want to thank you all for coming today to our Fern Christmas tree sale for Loudoun County Fire and Rescue. The holidays can be an important and joyous time for all of us. The Loudoun County Combined Fire and Rescue System wants each of you to have a safe and enjoyable holiday season. Today, we intend to demonstrate how a uh, improperly cared for Christmas tree or holiday tree can be detrimental to your safety and welfare. We look forward to sharing some important tips on how to be safe during the holiday season and prevent tragedy from happening in and around your home and with your family. Please look for these safety tips on our website at loudandgut.gov forward slash fire and be available to follow those safety tips as you go out the holiday season. I want to ask Chief Sleep uh, Sumberg of the Loudoun County Fire and Rescue Fire Marshal's Office to say a few words about holiday safety. Hey, Chief. Again, I'm Lee Sundberg. I'm the Deputy Fire Marshal here in Loudoun County, and I want to share five quick uh, fire safety tips for this holiday season. First is the placement of your tree. Uh, make sure that the tree is uh, three feet away from any heat sources, which would be candles, your fireplace, or heaters. And also make sure that the tree is not impacting your fire escape plan that you practice in your home. Uh, number two is when you bring your tree in your house and you put it into the stand, make sure that the stand's reservoir is full of water every day. Once the pine needles start to drop from your tree, it's time for the tree to go back outside. Uh, number three is your lights. Before you put the lights on the tree, go ahead and inspect those strands to make sure that there's no damage or frayed wires on it. If there are, it's time for those lights to be replaced. Number four are candles. Use candles in your holiday decorations. Um, make sure that they're three feet from any combustibles, that they're on a sturdy base, and that uh, you never leave a lit candle unattended in your home. My family uses the LED battery operated candles. They're a great fire safe alternative. I encourage you to use those as well. And number uh, five is the um, make sure that your fire or your smoke alarms work. The uh, Loudoun County has a free smoke alarm assessment. If you go to loudoun.gov backslash smoke alarm, uh, you can find out more information about that. Thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and start the demonstration. Okay, so we've simulated ignition. Uh, so, here is uh, an example for us of some kind of catastrophic failure, and you can see that for a moment in time we were in the, uh, the beginning stage or the incipient stage, and uh, now we're moving towards free burning, so our smoke alarm was sounding very quickly. Uh, and also in the center of the room we have uh, three thermocouples, um, so we are also actively measuring the temperatures inside of this room uh, as the burning is occurring. So the uh, tree is continuing to burn right now, and the other uh, materials near the tree are starting to rise in temperature. And as the materials around the tree start to rise in temperature, they will also start to uh, ignite. Smoke also, which is rising from the tree, um, as, the, as the tree uh, catches fire, uh, or it continues to burn. Smoke which rises from the tree also can continue to burn. So you can see now that our upper, our superheated gas layer and the top of the compartment is starting to catch on fire as uh, our combustible material like the couch and the presence around the tree are burning as well. So now we're moving towards all of the material inside of the compartment. Uh, we're close to the flashover phenomenon where all the material inside of the compartment is going to burn. You can see behind us the effect of a dry Christmas tree and how fast that fire progressed um, and the detrimental effect that you have on, on your home. So again, we're looking for you to have a safe and healthy and prosperous holiday season. And I'm going to turn it over to Chief Sunberg at this point to talk about a few of the incidents that we've had in this area that have really highlighted the need for increased awareness of fire safety during the holiday. Yes, Chief. So, recently we've had a number of large loss of uh, significant human impact fires. In 2015, up in Maryland, we had two grandparents and their four grandchildren that were killed in a, in a house fire that was related to an electrical um, issue uh, around their Christmas tree, which their Christmas tree promulgated the fire through the home. Um, up in Philadelphia, in January 2022, 
uh, 12 family members were killed in a house fire where an open flame was introduced to the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree subsequently burned within the home, uh, again, killing 12 family members in, in that event. From Bond County, we're wishing everybody a safe and holiday, happy holiday season. Merry Christmas.